Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Custom Spray Mods. In this video, I'm going to keep painting the Speed Triple, Speed T project. I've already painted the wheels and the fairings. I'm in the middle of painting the fuel tank. So um, while I'm in between steps, I'm going to start painting the other bits of plastic on the bike. So I've got like the uh, mudguard, um, a radiator shroud, uh, some parts off the front end, and a few things like that. I'm going to do some hydro dipping on these parts. So I'm going to do a carbon fiber hydro dip film over some black pearl. So I've sanded all these down. I'm going to spray some plastic primer, then color, then dip, then clear, then I'll be all done. Yeah. I've already did a test sample of a part from the front of the fuel tank. It came out pretty awesome. So I've got a bit of confidence in doing the dip, but um, basically I've never really done it before. So all the problems I come across, hopefully I can help you out. If you're trying to do it yourself at home. The first step is to paint the parts you want to hydro dip. These are plastic, so I've scuffed them with grey scotch Bright. Now I'm cleaning them. Then I'll spray some plastic primer over the parts. Now I'm going to spray three coats of plastic primer, waiting 10 minutes between coats. You can use a spray gun or you can use a spray can. Either way, get the suitable primer on the parts you want to hydro dip. Okay, so I've sprayed my parts with my um, pearl black. I've sprayed three coats and I waited 10 minutes between coats. Now I'm going to wait about maybe 10 more minutes and then the base coat should be nice and dry and I'm going to start dipping it. So I've got my bucket of water here. I've got a, uh, like a massive container that I've filled with water and um, I've already done some dipping in here so it's a little bit dirty. I'm just going to give it a little clean then I'll be ready to put my uh, film on top and see how we go. Now, it's always hard to put the film into the water uh, because you don't want water to go on top of the film. So, what I've been doing in my practices is kind of folding it in half, like that, and then slowly putting the middle in, and then letting it fall down to the side. Okay, see this is kind of rolled up here on me. I've got no idea why it's done that. Maybe because the film's old or maybe I need to um, put tape around the edges, but I think I've got enough to um, dip the part, so. All right, as you can see, it's starting to level out a bit. There's probably a technical term for it, but I really don't know. Hydrate or something. That, as you can see that all the bits that were before all like crunched up, it's kind of flattening out now. If you get air bubbles like this, you can just blow on it and that gets them out. Basically. Alrighty, so the film is laid out on the water. It's all nice and uniform now. Uh, this is just cold water. I think if you have hot water or warm water, it just um, levels out a lot quicker. So hydrates a lot quicker I guess if that's the word. So I'm going to spray my activator over this then I'm ready to dip it. So I've got to be ready to go because you don't want to leave it too long with the activator on it. So yeah, got my mask. See how we go. Now, it's important not to spray that. too much activator. If you do spray too much activator, then it can just melt the base coat straight off the part that you're dipping. It's also important to put the part in nice and smooth and even. If you go a bit too quick, you can make the dip a bit distorted. So you wanna make sure you go in at a nice even speed. Okay, so this film it's not like flattening out as good as I want it to. And I think it's because I didn't clean the top of the water. So the water's probably got like activator and a bit of leftover jizz all over it. And it's kind of causing this not to flatten out. So I'm just gonna get rid of that, clean it up and put a new bit on. A great way to clean the top of your water is to use some masking tape. 
Just drag it along the surface and it should get rid of all the floating rubbish that's on there. The hydrographic film comes in many different graphics. This one is a carbon fibre weave. It holds together quite well once it's been sprayed with the activator. Some films actually spread quite far and the image can be distorted. If that's the case, you can put some masking tape around the film to stop it from spreading on the top of the water. In this case, I've put three layers of tape around the image so that once I spray it, it doesn't spread too far on the top of the water. Once you've got the hang of it, it can be quite fun. It's pretty good, it's pretty cool. You can get any graphics on almost any parts. Also should be mindful of safety. Because you're getting excited, try and remember to wear gloves. It might look cool, but having this carbon fiber film on your arms and on your skin, is probably not a good idea. Make sure you wash it off straight away. And there you go, so that's got the film still on it. So I need to, I'm going to let this sit for about 5 or 10 minutes and then I'm going to put it under some running water to wash all that film off. That all needs to come off um, and then we can clear coat it. The next step is quite important. You really must get all that slimy film off the part. That is like a protective layer and is a leftover residue from the graphic. If that stays on there while you paint it, you're going to have defects in your clear coat. This normally takes about 5 to 10 minutes at least. It takes a lot of water to get off there. You don't want to try and touch it. You want to let the water do its job. Okay, so the parts are all dry now. Uh, I've washed them down and dried them. Uh, given them a light tack rag. So that's basically wiping them down with a tack rag. Now I'm going to put some clear over the parts. A lot of people say what protects the, the dip. Uh, well, it's clear. So you can put candy or whatever you want over these parts. I'm just going to put some clear, so I'm just going to mix up a little bit of 2K clear. This is two to one, so two parts clear, one part hardener. Using a mixing cup makes it very easy. Now at this stage you could actually use an aerosol can clear, anything to protect it. 2K pretty much looks the best. And dries very strong, which is why everyone in the panel and paint industry use it. Now that the parts have been base coated and dipped and cleaned, you need to call on all your spray painting skills to finish the job. Basically, you just need to spray them with a clear coat and you're done. But it's like I was too weak to be someone else You could think that I'm a creep when I'm singing alone But it's like I couldn't see straight on my own When I fall, we start again And when I feel like I'm just dead And when I go, it comes again
Let's be 